Flowdesk is the latest and greatest email marketing provider and it's getting some amazing press and reviews because of its just beautiful designs and its functionality. So not only does Flowdesk have the best templates on the market so far, it also has awesome workflows, which are your automation sequences and the ability to really segment your database based on what actions they're taking, which allows you to create more of a customizable communication strategy. Even if you don't have an email newsletter set up yet, you need to set up a nurture sequence. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing just how easy it is to create a nurture sequence using Flowdesk. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist and I love helping small business owners just like you build their brands online. So if you don't know anything about Flowdesk at the moment or why you should be making the switch, then go and watch my video from last week, which features the five reasons I made the switch from active campaign. And it also shares a little walkthrough as to what Flowdesk is all about. So that one's a great one to watch to get started to make sure Flowdesk is the right fit for you and your business. But in this video, I'll be sharing exactly how to create a nurture sequence using the workflow functionality on Flowdesk. So the whole point of a nurture sequence is to take someone from new subscriber to buying customer and nurturing them along the way to get them to build that no like and trust factor with you. The best bit is you put in a little bit of effort now to set it up, but then it just runs automatically in the background. So with every new subscriber you get, they will get this sequence of emails. So they'll be continually nurtured throughout their buyer journey. So let's dive into the workflows on Flowdesk. Okay, so on Flowdesk, you'll just click on workflows and there's two ways you can go about creating a workflow. So you can either create a template or you can create one from scratch. So I'll start with a template to show you how to create a nurture sequence using their template, which makes it super easy. So you just go customize. So add the trigger. So this is based on when a subscriber is added to a segment. So say you've got a segment um, like website banner this particular nurture sequence will go to anyone that has subscribed to your list via your website banner. I've just created these segments based on some of the uh, freebies that I offer. So my email marketing guide and my newsletter, um, Instagram opt-in. So uh, website banner is just one of them. So say this is just a nurture sequence that I'll be sending to those people. So they've clicked the website banner. This is the first email that they'll be sent. So to edit it, all right, so basically this is like any other email provider you've used before. You just, you just drag and drop different things out of your toolbox in here. So it's pretty obvious, pretty self-explanatory. The cool thing about this is it gives you a little bit of a template of what to say or the types of things to talk about in this particular email, which is really helpful as well. Um, also a really cool thing I love is that if you connect your Instagram, it will automatically populate your last three Instagram posts, which is just really cool. I really like that feature. Um, so you can change your font. So they have normal fonts, which might be your brand font. Um, and then they even have scripts, which I love. I love the scripts. I think they're really great for a call to action, like get inspired friend or whatever it is. Um, probably not your entire body text, but just something where it's a little header or you want it to stand out. You can obviously change all your colors. I've added my brand colors in, which is awesome. So they're really easy to access straight away. So I don't have to worry about remembering my code, which I never do. All right. So say that email, we've populated it and it's finished. We go finish and then basically done. And then you do a time delay. So you can make this however long you want. Personally, I would never create a time delay of 30 days. I think that's ridiculously long. I would say this is your, your welcome. And then this is going to be a day later. So this goes out immediately. And then this will go out, the next email will go out a day later. 
So in this particular template, I got these are a few of my favorite things. So maybe you can talk about a couple of pieces of content that you've created. So that way with a new subscriber, they have now got a little understanding of the types of content that you create and what you're known for. Again, time delay, same sort of thing. And you just kind of go th through. So in this particular template that they've got, they've got four emails. So that's basically the template version. So then we just go publish. Let's publish your workflow, all set to go. Click the publish now. And that is it. Okay, so now we'll create one from scratch. So we'll just go start from scratch, new workflow name, um, website banner nurture sequence, safe. All right, so my trigger will still be the same. So when a, a subscriber is added to a segment, we're gonna still collect that. But then we can, uh, I'll put an email straight away and this will be a welcome email. So the cool thing about Flowdesk is they have a whole lot of templates as well. So if we just want to, I'll just use a template for now because I'm not going to add all the copy. Um, say it was for a um, an opt-in that I created, I'll just use something like this. So then customize. It immediately puts in my logo and then adds the text that was in this Jenna Kutcher template. I would change it obviously, but it gives you a really good guide as to what sort of things you should post. And again, it includes my Instagram um, tiles at the bottom. So that's our welcome email. And then I will add, I can either add a time delay, a condition or an action. Okay, so we've sent them the freebie, we've waited one day, and then we are going to send them another email. So this email I would usually uh, create as a about email. So about me, who I am, what I do, why I'm the expert, why they're receiving my emails, what they can expect, all that sort of stuff. So this is just a welcome email. So then wait one more day and then send them another email. I would share some content relating to the freebie that you created. So say if you were downloading my email marketing guide, then I would include, um, you know, five, three of my uh, YouTube videos that related to email marketing because you know it's something that they are interested in and it's quite likely that they're going to click on one of those items and find it really useful and again it's proving the point that you are the expert. So then we'll wait another day. Email. So I'm just using the Jenna Kutcher ones just because it's really easy for uh, to create this video and show you what sort of, how you can create a consistent style um, and how you can use these templates really, really easily to create your own workflow. So this one's a res invite a response. So you might say uh, something that you specialize in and get really clear on what it is that you do and how you can help them um, and whether they have a particular question or um, whether there's something uh, about what you do that you think they might be struggling with um, and then you can just include a little about me which is really nice as well um, to tie in the fact that you are in fact an expert and then in your final email so we'll do a time delay again i would put a offer So this one is about, I think, a course or an online product or something like that. So we share the offer. So with a nurture sequence, the whole idea is that they've received 
four emails before they've actually received this one. So they've received a lot of value from you and you've really gotten clearer on what it is that you do, why you're an expert, and then you give them the offer of what you want them to buy. So then just create another time delay and then you can either create a condition where it might be open workflow email. Um, so they open the email and say it was your offer. You might send them a follow-up email from there or if it's no, maybe you get them to take an action, which would be to remove them from this particular segment. So say you want to remove them from the website banner segment. But then you want to add them add them to your newsletter segment or something like that. So then they won't receive any more promotion about this offer, but they will receive your regular newsletter. Whereas this track may go down more of a email follow-up, another email follow-up, that sort of process. So what did you think? Are you gonna test out Flowdesk? Make sure you use my link, uh, which is available at flowdesk.com forward slash C forward slash K Emily to get half price your monthly fees. So it will only be $19 US per month rather than 38. Um, if you haven't watched my other video, which goes through why I'm moving from active campaign to Flowdesk, then go and watch that one now because it gives you five reasons why I'm making this switch. But that's it from me for today. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here because I release new videos and tutorials just like this one every single week. So I hope to see you around soon and until next time. Bye for now.